What's up guys? So today I found out something interesting that you guys can do with your uh, your Uconnect system. I didn't know you can update it yourself and uh, maybe a lot of you guys didn't know that but you can go to Uconnect.com I'll put the link below and there's a whole step-by-step -step on how to download the update onto a flash drive or a thumb drive. Um, it's very simple you just put your VIN number in it tells you if your car is eligible for an update or not um, just download it to your thumb drive put it in your car as soon as you start your car um, it asks if you want to use the USB update and uh, it's that easy the only thing is that you had to leave my car I had to leave running for about 30 minutes it took to update um, but other than that it was really easy I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but on the other things, uh, my dad is interested in getting the Jeep Trackhawk. Now, right now, he has the Scat Pack Shaker Challenger, and he really likes it, but he also has a Jeep Grand Cherokee that he drives in the winter, and he loves that. He was going to get a Hellcat. But he thinks if he can condense his payments, save a little bit of money with insurance and payments, um, to get the Jeep Trackhawk. So we've been going back and forth debating if he's going to order one or not. Uh, we were just wondering what your guys' thoughts were on it. Um, I think it's really cool. I mean, it's an SUV that can pull 0.88 Gs on a takeoff. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. 700 horsepower, all-wheel drive. Um, the thing's gonna rip your neck off from a stop. I personally always been a fan of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I've been I really always liked the SRT8 Jeeps. Um, so when they came out with uh, them putting the Hellcat motor in, I got super excited. Um, the only problem is I, I love the body style, but I'm a big fog lights person. And I understand why they took the fog lights out, taking the fog lights out for, for more airflow. But uh, I think it takes away of the look of the car. But I'm not, I, I, I do like the Jeep Trackhawks. Um, I think you can start ordering them in the next few weeks. And then they'll take a couple months before they can start getting them in. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be kind of like the demon where dealers are going to charge over window sticker. I personally would never pay over window sticker. Um, I just, I just think that's a rip off. Um, or I just wait until I can find one used at a reasonable price. But my dad really wants to order one. He's never ordered a car before. He just thinks he'd be cool to, uh, pick out basically everything he wants or does not want in the Jeep and have it just personalized to what he wants. But for me, I, uh, I don't think I'll be getting rid of the Daytona anytime soon. Uh, I, I really do enjoy driving that car. As you can see, I am not in it today because of the satellite antenna on the roof, the shark fin, for some reason was super loose. And I didn't want any water to leak in and mess up my uh, the ceiling, what the hell is it called? I don't know what the hell it's called. I'm try drawing a brain fart right now. But messing up my ceiling with water spots. So I took it in and apparently the base of it is broken. So they need to order a new base so it clamps properly on the roof. Um, which I'll get my car back today. It just... It sucks when you don't have your car for stupid reasons like that. I mean, I understand when I break a car or, or uh, it needs tires because of something I did having fun. But when something like that breaks, it just kind of sucks. Um, I've been looking at the new Power Wagons. I, I really, really like the new Power Wagons. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a, right now what I'm driving is my 2016 Chevy Silverado uh, LTZ Midnight Edition, and I love it. 
don't get me wrong, I, I, I don't want to get rid of it, but uh, I do lease my truck. I don't drive that much. I mean, my car, my truck right now is a year and a half old and I barely have 12,000 miles on it. So for me, leasing is the way to go. Um, so I have about a year and a half left on my lease. And I really think I'm gonna get a power wagon. Um, I just like the look, the aggressiveness. Um, I need something a little bit more heavy duty because uh, for my business, I do plow my parking lot. So I do use do use it to plow, so something just a little bit more heavy duty and uh, more capable in the snow would be better, but um, my Silverado does just fine. I put the Rough Country 2.5 lift leveling kit in it, and uh, it looks so much better than stock. I mean, when you get them stocked, they're so raked for towing, they have the ass end jacked up, so when you put a, a trailer on it, it levels out but it makes it look like a car in the front. It's so low to the ground. So I, I did the 2.5 lift leveling kit and it just made a tremendous difference. Um, I don't know if you guys have it. I, I might have a few pictures somewhere of when I did it. Maybe if I can find them, I'll throw them in there. But uh, that literally took maybe two hours to, to do. Now it took me two days because the night before I uh, ripped all my suspension pieces that I needed off and then everything got shipped to me next day and I put everything back together. So it probably took two hours, two and a half hours, so which isn't bad. Um, but I, I really do like my Chevy and if you guys want a review on that just you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but that's all I really have to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to try to start putting more videos out there. I do enjoy doing this. Uh, more for a hobby, more than anything. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe. And have a good one.